Hi everybody, my name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And we are the Yahoo and the Tour YouTube channel. And it is a Shabbat, everybody. Yay! All right, and that means it is a day off. It's a day of rest, and we are still doing our reading here because this kind of goes along with Shabbat. Everything goes with Shabbat when you're reading scriptures. And so that is what we're told to do on a Shabbat is we are told to rest and we are told to take time off. Now, sometimes in life, especially as we're cruising through the trials and tribulations of life, sometimes it feels like a, a me, myself, and I world where we are all alone, where we are all being attacked by the world, where it's, it's, it's whatever is in our world, it's, it's us and it's only us that defends us. And that is oftentimes what it feels like to a lot of us, and especially for people who are not in scriptures. They don't understand the absolute power that it comes with having a relationship with our creator. Our creator is so powerful that he knows everything about us before it ever needs, before we ever need it. He knows all of it. In fact, before we are ever born, he formed us in our mother's womb and he breathed the breath of life into us. And he gave us, he, he designed everything. He designed everything from every freckle that's on your face to every mole that's on your back to every hair that is on the top of your toes. He designed everything. He put everything in place and he knows about everything. And so as we are cruising through this world that is dying in a very fast, rapid pace, it is very easy to get caught up in that we are all alone and that there is no help out there for us. But there is help out there for us. And that goes into today's lesson. And so today's lesson, we begin in Second Chronicles 2, and we're going to start with verse 1. And after these and this trustworthiness, Sankarab, sovereign of Ashur, came, and he entered Yehuda and encamped against the cities of defense and said to break them open to himself. And Kizik Yahu saw that Sankarab had come and his face turned to flight, fight against Jerusalem. And he took counsel with his rulers and the mighty men to stop the water from the springs, which were outside the city, and they helped him. And many people were gathered, and they stopped all the springs and the streams, that stream that ran through the land, saying, Why should the sovereigns of Ashur come and find much water? And he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and outside of it another wall and strengthened Melio, the city of Dawid, and made large numbers of weapons and shields. And he appointed battle officers over the people and gathered them to him in the open space at the city gate and spoke to their hearts, saying, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor be cast down before the sovereign of Ashur, nor before all the army that is with him. For with us there are more than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is Yahuwah, our Elohim, to help us to fight our battles. And the people leaned on the words of Kizik Yahu, sovereign of Yehuda. Now today's lesson is called a majority of one. And if you guys are reading through the scriptures in a year, and we hope that there are a couple of you guys out there that are doing this, um, today's scriptures you guys are going to be reading is Genesis 31 and 32, and Matthew 9, 18 through 38. Okay, with, an, with him is an arm of flesh, but with us is Yahu our Elohim. When Sennacherib, king of Assyria, invaded Judah, Hezekiah knew that the city of Jerusalem would come under attack. So he went into action to defend the city. He built up the broken wall and raised up another outside of it. He also made weapons and shields in abundance and set military captains over the people. But it would take more than that to save the city from the onslaught of the powerful armies of the Sennacherib. Sennacherib. So Hezekiah called the people together to encourage them. In the face of their seemingly hopeless situation, he declared, there are more with us than with him. How could he say this? He gives the answer in the very next verse. With the Sennacherib is an arm of flesh, but with us is Yahuwah to help us and to fight our battles. That was their hope. Sennacherib had power, men, and prestige, an arm of flesh, but the inhabitants of Jerusalem had Yahuwah. Is there some enemy pressing in on you today? Do you feel as though the opposition is about to crush and destroy you? Does everything seem hopeless? Take heart, child of Yahuwah. With the Lord on your side, you are never outnumbered. Reflect and pray. A mighty fortress is our Elohim. 
a bulwark never failing. Our helper he is amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. One plus Yahuwah is always a majority. We learn about this a lot in um, the times they're fighting for the land of Israel and they're fighting the Gentiles and cleaning the land. Yahuwah told them, he's like, if you go up against 100,000, all you need is 10,000 because I'm with you, right? It's like one could defeat 10, uh, 100 could beat 100,000. It was, it, Yahuwah would be able to beat them all for you. You wouldn't have to send many people out. And if you were following the law, statute, and command, Yahuwah would be the one fighting for you and you wouldn't have to send your whole army out. Yeah, and you, <clears throat> we see this all throughout scriptures. We see it in many, many times when Yisrael was completely outnumbered. They had no other hope. There was nothing out there. They had no idea how in the world they were ever going to defeat an enemy so, so large. And some of the examples of that is our creator caused a tremendous amount of confusion in the enemy's camps. The enemy's camps would sometimes destroy themselves. They would get so confused. They would have no idea. When Gideon fought all of those guys, same kind of things happened with Gideon. Same kind of things happened with Shaul. Um, there was a, uh, the, Israel has always been outnumbered, just like we are always outnumbered. When the third of the angels of the messengers fell from the Shemaim, that was a tremendous amount of them. And then they went on and then they had children with the, the women. And then they ended up with the Nephilim, the Nephilim and the Eliad. And there, were, once those things died off, they all we had were demons, roaming spirits, and these roaming spirits are part of Hasatan's world. It is part of the world that he's trying to, to to take us, take all every single one of us. And when you believe that you are in a battle by yourself, all we need to do is get on our hands and knees, and we need to lift up our our voice in prayer. We need to speak to our Creator. We need to give Him our woes cast all of our doubts on him he will take care of us and he will always take care of us so every time that you think that you are completely alone understand that you are not and all it takes is a little bit of prayer it takes a little bit of time with our creator and today being a shabbat that day is today and so today cast all your cares upon him he cares for you all right, all right. much love everyone Thanks. we're out